Well, it's a little red fighter that is your ship. Um, you can find other ships. Um, uh, you can have up to 12 ships, so uh, you can start collecting. And there is... Uh, I don't remember how many different uh, classes now, but uh, five, six, seven, something like that. Eight. Um, so, but what many people do is you can scrap ships. Uh, so. What you can do is, when you find them, you can uh, take them and uh, then you can make a minimal repair on them and fly them to a space station and uh, then uh, scrap them for money. And they normally give okay money, uh, typical for a C-class ship is between one and two million, uh, which is okay when you don't have any money at least but I will say your ship is not the best there is in the, the game even though I still have mine on this one um, It's not like I have problem earning money because it, it, it's not hard. You press X and then you go to... Up, that one toggle camera view so press X, go to utilities and that little man uh, I have actually uh, hotkeyed it for me because I use it for something to switch it between it. Oh. Um. But I'm, I'm not a big lover playing in, in, in first person and I say that because I actually fly my ship in first person so <laughs> it's a little bit uh, complicated. Whenever you find a box where it's a e-search and some questions mark, search it because it will contain something which might be useful. In the worst case, you might get something you can sell. I had a long discussion with uh, a YouTuber because he said that people were playing wrong, uh, focusing on earning money. And weirdly enough, I didn't disagree with, with his points, but I disagree that he should not tell other people how to play because it's, it's your game, you play like you want. So if you want to pursue money, then you do that. I do not believe that uh, me or any other people posting videos or twitching uh, should tell you what's right and wrong.
and that's um, another thing is a little bit of a hint not telling you to do it but uh, it's a hint when you get to space stations they will be owned by one of three races the gig which is these little beaked ones they are traders uh, the Kovacs, which is a technological kind of a mechanical ones, and the, the Viking, which is a warrior race, uh, a little bit like um, the Klingons in, in Star Trek, that type of. Uh, And uh, you can talk to them. First of all, you can request direct help. Then you learn a word. And that's actually practical because the text box will contain some of their words until you have learned those words. And it can create misunderstandings if you don't understand the language. It doesn't change much of the game because important things will always be translated, but uh, just saying. And there's achie achievements for learning a certain amount of, of uh, words. But you can also practice your language skills. And when you do that, you're presented with four words. And as these are traders, Trading words will give you some benefits with them and uh, business would be trading and uh, he gets very excited and give me some money. That's not the best outcome with these but uh, you gain something for free. That That's my point if you do it right. Take these because um, at some point I will kill creatures, but uh, the rewards was not the best. He doesn't want to talk to me, bastard. So...
stuff would be money, wouldn't it? Okay. So, missions you can get from this guy. I just took one, but... Uh, and here's the same place on all space stations, uh, at least for now. There's rumors that it will be made changed uh, in the future but uh, as soon as you can start but you need to have standing with uh, the different things before you can get missions so you start with level one mercenaries uh, level one explorers and level one merchants uh, missions and when there are them you can start them but look what you have to do, because not everything is actually um, simple and uh, easy. But some is very easy. Scan creatures is not too difficult. Kill a predator can take time, but it's not difficult. Kill 15 creatures is quite easy, but... Uh, I would not go down and kill creatures on the planet. I have another. I have another approach to that. Raid a planetary depot. That can get you into trouble with the sentinels. So I would not do that until you are geared up. And then collect something. Um, that can be a little bit tricky, but uh, that's something you learn over time. But when you get your standing with the different guilds up. There is a guild representative on each of the space stations and other places as well. And when you talk to them, when your standing is up, they will give you a gift. And that gift, depending on how high your standing is, but that can be quite lucrative. Well, a warp hyper call, that's actually quite good because that uh, gives me a full hyper jump fuel in one go so what did I actually I took the animals that one I don't want to do because uh, I have my extra suit filled up, so... Good. So I don't have anything else in this system. I have a black hole here. And... Uh, what... You always will do is there is okay this is a little bit of a spoiler but it's it's not a spoiler as such there is 256 galaxies and the way you travel from galaxy to galaxy is you actually move to the center of the galaxy you are in if you can see up in the left hand corner there is a spiral and that's the galaxy we're in there is a yellow dot with a circle around that's where I am uh, it's some relatively position and then there is the yellow orange clear light in the middle that's roughly the, the core of the uh, galaxy and, and that's where you go and jump to the next one it's not without risk because you will get things on your exosuit your ship your multi-tool damage so it, it takes a lot of repairs there is a couple of tricks and uh, uh, if you want to know them um, I have some videos on my YouTube channel where, where it actually shows how, how to do these things uh, in a safe way so you don't get a lot of uh, repairs out of it. But also look when what, what I do when, when I get to it. But uh, 
I'm quite far away from the core at the moment, uh, 488,000 light years, so it would take quite a while before I get there. There is ways of cheating, uh, ah, it's not cheating, it's part of the game, So, uh, but you can use portals to get close and uh, some people do galaxy jump and uh, get into a new galaxy, jump to the, uh, find a portal, go to the core, go to the next and so on. And that's fine. Uh, it, it's one way of playing and uh, I will not uh, say anything about that. But what I do, I use black holes. Black holes will tell that I'm traveling very, very far. But reality is the distance it tells me is it jumps from one um, one side of the galaxy to the other, not towards the core. Yeah, a little bit towards the core. Uh, it will propel me some 6,000 light years towards the core. So, if you look now, I'm 488,000, so I should come down to around 482,000 when I go into the black hole. Let's see if I'm right. And to find black holes you need to talk to a guy in the anomaly uh, his name is Polo. Later on, you your scanners can pick them up as well. And I will be fighting. This is a pirate freighter. And that is attacking civil ones. So if I can eliminate or kick him away, uh, I will get some rewards from the civil ones and you have to do this trench run like in the Star Wars it's not overly complicated I'm just a little bit slow so I might I might or might not be able to do it sometimes I am shields down he will try to flee so I need to take certain things out and hopefully get to to destroy it damn well I got half a million some standing sometimes I get something else as well but not the uh, best but uh, at least I got him to go away so I saved the civilians. Uh, I didn't get anything else, no. So, I had traveled 
6,000 light years, as I said. And uh, if you notice the yellow dot with the circle around up in the left hand corner, it has moved somewhere else in the spiral and uh, that's what it does. Um, you jump around and uh, that is, that's absolutely fine, but uh, it takes time to, to use this method to, to get to the core. But I tend to use the black holes until I get bored with a galaxy. Each galaxy has its own uh, kind of uh, ecosystem. So it, it's the, the, the galaxy sits on kind of a scale from uh, where they are with a lot of uh, nice planets to a lot of horrible planets. This one is actually one of those who has a lot of horrible planets, so... Yeah. Well, the thing is, I always scan other ships uh, when I see them around me because uh, I do collect ships uh, I haven't done here as much as I normally do because I was a little bit yeah I'm going to lose everything if I die so this orange place in the space station is where you would scrap ships if, if you Uh, get to them and you can actually see claim scrap my ship would be worth 109 million I'm not going to do that uh, but that is a possibility and there's an ad coming up so I stopped talking until after that because I want to show what this is can change your appearance. Taking that, okay. No, I actually have uh, this one, but I haven't taken it uh, on this uh, save. Um, that's actually a Darth Vader one. So you can change your appearance, uh, you can look like changing race and uh, stuff like that, but I... Uh, oh, 
or a traveler like those you meet around. I don't want to do that, but... Uh, So, I am wearing a cape now. I am a hero. And one thing is, when you come into the a space station, one of the first places you should go, and I'm actually telling you what to do now, go to this place, click on that one, and you buy a slot for your exosuit. And it's one of these slots uh, that uh, you can put either technology or cargo in um, get that filled up as quick as you simply can because uh, if you don't you you will you will miss out the more crap you can carry around the better it actually is because you you want to make be able to carry everything you pick up um, and that is uh, that is how we play. <laughs> you don't want to leave anything behind. And even if you uh, get something you don't know what to use for, well, you can ask or I know, I know. Uh, the thing with the space station here is is quite important, but uh, you you are right, and uh, I probably should uh, let you breathe as well. But this one is important. The rest, uh, remember what you can. Um, these guys sitting on this side of the space station is selling uh, modules to your different things. Oh, you're, you're moving, you're moving. And remember what you're doing right now because uh, that's something which will be useful ongoing. The repairs you are doing right now on your ship uh, will be useful when, if you find uh, other ships around, which I hope you will. I know you will, but... Uh, Well, I know there is other new players as well uh, watching and uh, just trying to help out there. Um, but yeah, you're 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 right. But when you get your ship flying, then then you're kind of good. Then then you are in a good place. Two S class modules for free. Uh, that is not a bad thing. I would say everything I can get for free is a benefit. Um, Uh, yeah, 
it, it, it is uh, it is it is the, the, the time where you have survived long enough you've gotten your ship off the planet when you get to that um, then then you should be fine you will still make mistakes and uh, stop but uh, you you you're on your own feet then And as I said, I really don't want to give spoilers because there are things which uh, should be experienced uh, by yourself. And it's not all of it pleasant things. <laughs> uh. Um, unfortunately a um, how can you say it uh, a, a occupational hazard uh, when 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 you have so so many hours in a game you you want to help everyone to to get to a higher level of understanding and that is absolutely rubbish I shouldn't do that so uh, I can take a photo of a portal say that um, space stations uh, will become uh, an important part of your gaming experience because um, a lot of things goes on there uh, oh shit. you 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 do a lot of trade, you do a lot of uh, upgrades and stuff like that, so it's uh <clears throat> yeah, and, and so you should you should enjoy what, what you're doing don't let me ruin the
Jesus. It's very hot here. Hmm. Hot is not necessarily bad, but uh, well, hot or cold, it can both damage you. Uh, Every environment can uh, actually do uh, harm to you, so need to go that way. And why is that thingy monitoring me? Go away. Go away. So there is a safe distance to uh, sentinels and uh, I mistakenly got it wrong yesterday but the safe distance is normally around 30 units. However, it is not carved in stone, I will say, because uh, I am sure I was further than 30 yesterday and uh, it came running like uh, It had no So, storms are something I am very, very cautious with. 
because they can choke you. Oh, damn, these mountains are not good. Stones can actually chop you around in the air and, and uh, damage you severely. Um, I will say that uh, respect them <laughs> on this, you will have some very scary experiences. They storms also actually give some benefits, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Wants me to go back to the space station and uh, hand in the push at the mission. So it doesn't actually work then. But sometimes you want to tweak what you have and get it a little bit better. This one is not no good, so that is going back. Uh, this one, I doubt that would, that would benefit anything. Fire rate. 13, 20, 15, 15, so what I already have is better. Um, the fire rate is quite important because that is what uh, give you the good damage output. I can think it said that the stone was was it over? No? It was not over. Okay, I'm, I'm still standing in a hole in the ground, but that is kind of safe for me. That's a good thing. So, upgrade modules you don't use can be sold for nanites at the vendor. So, uh, it's always a little bit positive what uh, there is.
portal is to put a save point and I can easily find it if I need to. Because that will show up on maps. Well, I have that here. So, each planet should have a portal. And uh, you can travel within a galaxy. I need a planet to show you that uh, not that planet uh, bu bu I rather not go to a planet with uh, aggressive sentinels that's uh, that's that's never a good idea because then I risk to get into trouble. So actually, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I already took that picture, but uh, I can still go there. No, it's, it's, it's not a problem, I guess, but... Well, the thing is, there's certain things you can do on planet, and there's certain things you can only do in space, and... Uh, so I go back to the portal, that's... Uh, So what you do is you press set and then you have the portal portable refiner up here. You will need some oxygen, search of them, and you will need metal plating. Metal plating you should be able to make by going to your exosuit, click on it, and you should have it in this list here somewhere you don't have as much as I have to you can produce but uh, it should be there and that's just ferrite dust so uh, it, it's just making that so set that gives you that's also what you need when you need to build a base. You need always to build a base computer first. But then your portable, portable refiner should be there and uh, you make a metal plating and uh, collect the oxygen you need and then just click on it. Then you get the option to put it out in front of you and you need carbon You press set. You are on a PC, right? It's default set. Sulu. You're welcome. I actually just realized I was stupid. That was the wrong thing I placed. 
Uh, I made a mistake. I need to save beacon. But also make. Yeah, they have a tendency to, to do that. Uh, are you at the ground or are you flying? Two things you can do go into your ship and out again so you save the game then reload it then they will go away Just go into your ship, then go out again, then it will save, it make it a restore point, then you just go reload restore point and then they should be gone. It's a little trick there is. Twenty-seven degrees. That's warm. That's very warm. Problem is sometimes that uh, it uh, they also attack where you are. what they have done I, I don't have control at the, at the moment um. that they have done something in this um, quarter It's, it's all automaticated, which uh, it annoys me a little bit.
try to change it to manual, see if it works. Yeah, and let's see if, if it works. Well, it used to be, and then uh, they they change it to automatically, and uh, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not one hundred percent sure what they it's something frequently uh, which has changed frequent uh, recently. Because I used to have. Uh, one and a half minutes ads per uh, per half hour and uh, then suddenly it was every 15 minutes and uh, I'm not quite sure what the heck has gone on well now I try to change it back as it was so let's see if that works So, it should settle down to a little bit more. Yeah, no, I, I think it, 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 it is a balance because um, it, it also annoys me that I have to sit and be very conscious on what I'm doing, what I'm saying uh, so frequently. And... Uh, yeah, of 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 course. I I also want the the income from the ads, but uh, I don't want it to be too stupid. So as I said, it's a balance. So, um, did you get um, the problem sorted? Okay, good.
farm a little bit for fuel. So we want to go that way. And there is a black hole down there. to the space station is the first thing when I come into a new system um, mostly to see what there is and if there's anything interesting I can acquire for free but also when you go into it you get it on your teleporter uh, range so you can actually come back if you want and that's uh, again something which is important that uh, you have options so, I have some modules which I can sell for nanites and that's... I'm just doing it to, to clean out in my bags sometimes, uh, my storage. Travelers is not as important now as they used to be. Um, they used to be the source to get the glyphs for the portals. Um, they are not entirely that anymore. Um, you can. I will not uh, give spoiler, but if you were going to do by travelers. You need to talk to them. Uh, and uh, the first time you talk to them, you might uh, get something from from them, or and you just make sure you don't piss them off. Um, then you talk to them again and you ask them where they came from that cost you 100 nanites normally it evens out so you ask them where they come from and they give you a subspace signal which uh, looks like that and it's an unknown grave it's a grave, it's not his grave. Um, and uh, if you go there, you will get a cliff and you will get a 
memory fragment. The memory fragment is uh, a useful uh, upgrade, especially in the start of the game. Okay, ads are coming up now and the next one is scheduled after another half, a, half an hour. So it seems like it has uh, gone back to my old one. So that looks good. So they are not coming as frequent as they did. Uh, I'm sorry for that. bit uh, slowish there's another traveler um, never pick up from more than one traveler at a time because it will not work if you have two uh, for some reason I don't know why and I practice my language skills with them and uh, hopefully pick up something interesting. Um, that's, uh, that's my way of playing and uh, you, you can choose whatever suit you best um, sure
lot of sentinels to kill here. Yeah. Um, this one is a tricky one, a level 1 merchant guild mission, kill 4 sentinels. It's not something you just do in the start of the game. Um, it's somewhat something many people will actually struggle with even further into the game. It's not impossible, but uh, I would warn a little bit about that. It's not... It's not the most easy thing to do. Planet of Light. Aggressive Sentinels, why did I know that? Uh, uh, well. Maybe I should have taken the kill four Sentinels. I would have done if the, the reward has had been uh, a little bit more useful. Quickly land, get the grave, and uh, get away again. That is never a good idea. Not in this game, nor in any other games. Uh, doom, doom, doom. Probably the best to do right now. Let's see what that actually is. Ah, terminal protection. That's uh, it's not bad at all, but I don't need that. to stay on top with uh, refining things because otherwise I end up actually doing a lot um, in one go.
These traders you need in space very rarely have something useful, so... Um, it's just how it is. Um, that's... be difficult to see. Uh, sometimes you have to stop and have another look. absolutely a chance I, I make mistakes with this because it's very hard to see for me um, which is kind of yeah slowly move towards the center of the galaxy and as I said that uh, sometimes you grow tired of a galaxy then you can use a portal and uh, take a quicker way to, to the center but uh, Thank you for following and welcome to it is appreciated I'm not lucky with finding good stuff at the moment um, it's really Constantly C class, uh, which is no ships, no multi tools. That's really, yeah. I didn't want to talk to you, and um, I knew what you were going to say. Ah, I already got one, so. Not really useful. Uh, the worst part is when I start uh, turning on the light or off. Okay. So that one finally got rid of. And sometimes you will have something sitting for quite a while before you actually sell it, but 
Um, the thing is, I don't want to sell uh, too cheap because there's no need for doing that. I'm, I'm not in the need of money, so you can always choose to sell what, whenever you want, but uh, If you sell on under uh, below par or whatever you want to call it, um, you don't get the most out of it. And I know the argument is, yeah, but you got it for free, maybe. But it's not necessary. I got it for free. I might actually have bought it uh, because I do buy trade goods and uh, sell. That's one of the ways I, I, I earn money. So sometimes I have bought it, but uh, even though if it's resources, for instance, I do not want to um, I do I do not want to have less than I could get. I do prefer to 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 get as much as I, I can without. I'm, I'm not uh, having a spreadsheet with uh, what I bought it for, what I can sell it for. That that's way too much. So, and that's, that's the whole thing, um, I do a very simplified trading mechanism, I buy cheap and I sell uh, for, for better money and uh, I can demonstrate what I'm doing because uh, actually thinking about going to a trading post and uh, stock up on trade goods so oh that was on there as well a sea fighter and a sea shovel as I said I keep finding sea stuff at the moment C S curse. So I try to learn a little bit of the language every time I get to a Base station. Um, I don't do it on trading posts or uh, repositories and other places where you run into them. Just on space stations, and uh, eventually you get the full language. It takes time, but uh, it's also so you don't feel that all you do is uh, talking to aliens over and over again. Um, but when you start a new save, new game, it's actually where you can get some um, good things sometimes. You get standing, you get uh, modules sometimes, which is uh, quite useful. Uh, when the space station is Viking, there's two nanite extractors, and uh, that is, uh, it's not a lot you get every time, but uh, it, it's useful. You do need nanites. Just as I need carbon.
carbon is a fueling resource. So do I want to go and scan creatures? I can't put any more on my multi-tool at the moment, but uh, oh, it's in another system, that's okay. Every time it says consult the galaxy map, that means it's in another system, you have to warp there. Which is not a problem. You warp anyway. Quite a lot, to be honest. So, I have an economy scanner on my ship so I can always find trading posts and uh, that that is actually a good thing to be able to because some planets is uh, mainly water and uh, if you need to find land on them Finding a trading post is actually useful, because that's normally always on some sort of land. And that is not a bad thing. Toxic planet of to get some good food, isn't it? Uh, so, it's rare I don't have anything to put on, but 37% uh, to 64%. something good to drink uh, it could be as simple as coffee and uh, pastry and cake but uh, it, it, it goes in many ranges well yeah maybe <laughs> um, Are you feeling good? Are you relaxed? Chilled out? I think that's, that's all part of Hygge as well. But Hygge is a very important concept. So, 
This is June. Well, the, lo the long day is uh, not huge, but uh, the rest sound okay. For many of, of us Danes, it would be kind of a No, I have never, I have not, not even been able to scan them, so uh, I, I don't know if there is a secret that I don't know about, that uh, might be the thing, but uh, I have never had the opportunity. Can't even uh, damage them with my weapons, so I even tried to fly on my ship and get them. However, there is other worms you can uh, deal with, but uh, they are in a, another type of range. And they have a tendency to bring friends and stuff like that, so it can be a little bit hairy fighting with them. The reward you get out of it is not very good. You get some food stuff. You can cook in uh, this game as well. Um, I used to on Sundays uh, start with uh, some cooking and uh, teaching people how they could uh, make food stuff into something very valuable. Um, that's a good question. You can get uh, you can get sausage, so uh, you could theoretically probably do that. That, that's a possibility. Animals, you will get uh, different types of meat out of them. No idea. See, now it's happening to me what happened to you that something is shooting at you. And now, see what I do with it. I jump into my ship and then I. Kill them. They even got money out of that, two hundred thousand. Got some resources because I shot the ground. Okay.
don't fly into stuff. That was just because I got greedy. Don't try this at home. <laughs> no, you can. It's uh, just make sure you have um, proper in environmental protection uh, and that you are. Um, stone crystals is a kind of a rare commodity, um, and you can only take them during um, storms and it's uh, it's used to craft certain things and that's what I actually use them for also earn good money on them. They are a valuable thing. Uh, I have them over here. So they are 200,000 a piece so if you collect uh, enough of them you have no monetary issues. remember which animal it is that gives sausages but uh, you you can make something in in direction of uh, hot dogs it's of course not the same but uh, it's a game and it's made by a British company, so uh, it'd probably be more like uh, Cumberland sausages or something like that, so... That's not the greatest for hot dogs. And... Uh, now we talk about hot dogs. I'm getting hungry now. Could we talk about something else, please? Actually seeing your hot dogs uh, kind of made me hungry, so uh, yeah. I think I put the commercials, the ads back on every 15 minutes.
I definitely need a better multi-tool. That's uh, things uh, there's no need for that um So the thing is, I buy stuff when it's uh, at high minuses, that means it's cheap, and I sell it when it's uh, in high plus, um, well, when it's in plus, then I know I always earn money on it. Um, I could sell these, but I don't because uh, I use them to to give uh, to gift to um, the auto page. So I, I sit on these for now. And you can say, then buy some of this, uh, but no, I won't because it will be cheaper at a trading post. So. I will find one of them before I leave this system. That way I earn more money. And yeah, we can discuss whether you should make money or not. That uh, is a discussion which has been going on for quite a while and uh, Although I do agree that you should not, that should not be the focus of your game because you miss out a lot of things if you do. However, how the how you choose to play is your decision, not no no one else's. And that's how it is. It's your game, it's your choices. You do what you think you want to do. Even if you're doing it wrong. <laughs> now, uh, in, in all uh, seriousness, um, it's very important that you play like you want to. It is your game, it's your choice. If you want just make money constantly, uh, then let me warn you, there is a hard uh, programmed limit on how much money you can actually have. And uh, I tried to re uh, I, I have tried to reach it and uh, it is 4.2 billion. And after that, you s just stop getting any money into your account. Well... Um, there are... 
different things, but for most, uh, spending money goes on buying ships. Um, or buying freighters. Uh, a good S class ship can run up in 30 to 50 million units. So that is mostly what, what is. Uh, and now there's, of course, no ships. Um, that that's mostly what people use money on. If you want want to buy an S class freighter, it can cost you hundred and something million. So it is possible, but it's it's not as important as certain other things. Um, I would say. It, it's it's part of the game you need the uh, means but it, it's not and and that's that's the whole point uh, that guy on YouTube had was that if you focus so much on making money you you lose everything else in the game and and that that's why you need to find a balance um, I do make a little bit of money, but I'm not. I'm not overly fast. Um, I do it as a sport sometimes, but as I said, ships, freighters, uh, multi tools. That's the things you you buy, and then of course you can buy resources and stuff if you're in the need of it but most most of the time you would go out and uh, farm for it instead which is uh, a healthier way of doing it I would think the thing is you you use more nanites when you uh, kind of upgrade things and uh, buy modules for your gear. But let me just wait and see a moment if a ship comes in. Then I will show how you buy ships of uh, Aliens, at least. But the thing is, most things you use is is something with resources. You uh, you make sure you produce. You can combine uh, two resources into a third and, and stuff like that. So, if you build bases, um, that that's what you would do there. Like when you made your your uh, pure ferrite, and and that that is, I find much more interesting than actually money making. But for some people, it, it's uh, all about collecting ships, for instance, uh, getting a specific ship uh, in different colors or whatever. You see, when someone comes in a ship, this is a shuttle, it's not very interesting, but you scan it and uh, this is a C class, this is the lowest class, but uh, you can go and talk to the guy and you can actually make an offer on his starship 
So you negotiate the price and uh, you can exchange it in your own ship. Uh, be careful with that because you don't get the difference in, in money out, uh, paid out. If yours is small worth, then it's just zero units to exchange it and you kind of lose what you have. Um, but you can buy it straight out for, for that amount of money and uh, you just click and buy it. Uh, I would not buy a C-class ship because uh, that's uh, that's kind of a waste and you can compare the damage potential the shield strength the hyper drive range and uh, the maneuverability so oh now there's suddenly many But a good S-class ship uh, would cost uh, 20 to 50 million, depending on which one it is. And I must admit, for me, it's very often that uh, I rather want to have the money so I can just um, kind of buy things if I want them. And that, that can be long period where I actually hardly do any trades except for sub surplus uh, resources or something like that. As I say, sometimes it becomes a sport. There is a, a little bit of tendency to do things just because you can. And then you should always ask yourself, well, was that what I should do? Yeah, that, 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 that's always, well, it's a philosophical question, isn't it? Um, it, it is, uh, well, I mean, you, you have played, uh, I almost say forever, that's not true, but uh, how, how, what's your take on, on money in the game? I mean, I, I, I feel you, you end up a, at a point where, yeah, you don't really need it. But on the other hand, it's, it's nice you can spend money on things you want to have. Um, another thing you can buy is uh, things like storage on your ships and stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I know it's, it's easy to make money. Um, but. Uh, Tim asked if, if what you can actually use it for as well, because uh, that is equally important. No, I, I, I tend to agree. That's uh, I mean, when I, when I reached the, the 4 billion and uh, Uh, well, now I'm going to use them and uh, someone was uh, coming with some suggestions what I could spend them on. And you know what I used them all for? I put them on my hauler and filled it up with the uh, storage slots. Yeah?
I would say I normally have, uh, when I reach around a billion, I settle down and leave it there. That that that's pretty much it. But uh... Yeah, but again, you, you don't have to do it, but uh... I mean, it's so, sometimes an achievement in itself to to uh, do it via missions or private uh, uh, frigate missions or something like that. Oh wait, does that count? Oh. Um, I stream from Sunday to Thursday, uh, 8 o'clock UK time. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm quite strict with my schedule. Yeah, have a good night's sleep and... Uh, A lot of hygge. Take care till next time.
dann... Yeah. We'll say I am done with that. Uh, so, that's empty. Oh, I have some there. Not entirely what I thought it would be, but um, yeah. Sometimes you can be lucky, or whatever you want to call it. Sorry if there's some uh, weird cat noises coming, but my cats are playing around. <laughs> I will say the law is something same places every time 
not exactly, but uh, very close. It's a very warm planet. standing under things like this is actually protection so even if you are kind of a, a, in a situation so a little bit of shelter is better than nothing time on a freighter and a crash freighter. Oh. That is contraband. And that I rather want to have on my freighter because uh, you risk being scanned. If you have contraband in non-outlaw systems, uh, you end up in problems. So. That was actually quite a good hole in this one. use that boat on the ship so I got a couple of them one of them that one get a little bit of money uh, is it actually really good so Let's find the distress signal. Because that is maybe a ship. Only oh, this a ship. It's a shuttle, so that is not the best, but uh hey -oh. Go and find some cobalt soon. Coldest of planets. 
I have seen. Look at the hammer of the Nerim. It's an A class. It's actually not uh, too bad. I already have an A class shuttle, so it's not going to become Super One. worth good money so I claim the ship but I leave it behind it will appear on my um, radar and then I will take it from there to a space station uh, using the teleporter when I'm that's my active ship and then I can hand it in that way without because flying it up on permanent um, giving me a revelation that uh, pirates sometimes will try to gang you when you are flying around like that and then uh, it could be a very quickly dead because you have nothing to do with a damaged ship like that. So I decided to play it safe and uh, do it that way after I was very close to to end this run. So to the freighter. <clears throat> My voice is actually failing now, so that's... Uh, it is slightly annoying. ship so yeah I already got an A class shovel so make sure that it is your active ship then go back up, back up to your teleporter and go to any space station, but uh, I will choose the one in this system anyway. It doesn't really matter much. So 
пожалуйста. ship when you scrap it but uh, if it was fully repaired you would of course get more out of it some reason I get my starship when I uh, scrap. That's uh, a little bit uh, funny actually. So, just checking what I actually got out of it. Uh, some oh there was a storage one on it that's good so I got that got that got these got a warp cell uh, warp cell is uh, it's good as an emergency, I would say. Sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't, so it's uh, a little bit tricky. Um, I actually got some... Oh, 77, oh, yeah, 60, 56... So, it's better than that. So I, as I talked about, uh, uh, regarding um, putting lower grade modules on, eventually it will all be upgraded so it uh, just become better and better 1002 1008 so this this has the potential to be a very very uh, good long distance ship actually not bad uh, did I have any more scared of blaster is not on a ship so I 
think that's pretty much it. Uh, can't really do anything else with that. So. ship uh, which is good and fine that is very oh Ability is among other things the speed it flies with. Um, the, uh, I will need a lot of slots, but it's only a C class, so I'm not sure. I'm actually going to chase for a better ship, a uh, Sentinel Interceptor. Okay, we have uh, reached one o'clock as well, so um, I'll do a little bit more clean up, but it, uh, I'll do that off stream. So I will say thank you for watching, thank you for following, uh, I appreciate it, and uh, I hope everyone had uh, a bit of entertainment with this today. Um, there was a lot going on and uh, I hope it was all fine. I will be back tomorrow at uh, 8 o'clock UK time and uh, well it will be uh, one more Nexus mission uh, among the things and uh, what else comes up. So. See you tomorrow and uh, have a good night, good evening, good day, depending on your time zone. And uh, I hope you will take care out there and see you tomorrow. Good night from UK.